My name is Dimitri, and today I'm in Basel. When I think of Basel, I think of international shows and exhibitions and a busy city. It takes an hour and 15 minutes to get to Basel from Zurich Airport. Paris and Frankfurt are not far away either, just three hours on a fast train. Basel is the world's leader in life sciences. Novartis and Roche, that have their world headquarters here, are omnipresent. The Rhine River splits the city between what are called Klein Basel and Gross Basel. To me, it makes more sense to divide the city between what I call Water Basel and Land Basel. Land Basel is conservative in a positive way, blending a rich history with contemporary life. Basel is a stable place supported by a strong economy, and a new flagship hotel of Movenpick has just opened in the city. The hotel flung open doors to us, displaying its wonderfully efficient glass and concrete architecture, modern comforts, and breathtaking city views. Во-первых, она сделана на шпанированном дереве, шпанированном дереве конкретно тубом, а главное, она тяжеленная и она одним движением превращается в дверь тони. Обратно в ванну. При этом из-за используемых материалов она полностью ушла не прицеп. Очень молодец. The hotel's conference halls are furnished with stylish Vitra furniture. There are airy cocktail party lounges and an excellent Peruvian fusion restaurant called Puro. We have asked Rito Coker, general manager of the new hotel, about its advantages. For me, there are two points, actually. There's, there's one is the architecture, which is uh, brand new. It's all very clear. There's a lot of, of windows. A really urban touch, like a big city feeling. So when you're up in the 14th, 15th floor, uh, we have our own parking. Um, public areas are one minute away uh, with the walk. And the second point is, is for me, really the meeting convention areas, which we have daylight in, in there. We have large rooms, we have different smaller rooms. So we can uh, uh, offer a, a whole range of different, different meeting and, and uh, event space. Moven Peak is a brilliant hotel, yet we also needed to see historic Basel too. So we headed to the Volkshaus Hotel, which also opened in 2021. The Volkshaus is unlike a regular hotel, where the main revenue streams are accommodation and hospitality. At its heart is a 19th century concert hall whose entrance is hidden behind the leafy plane trees in the courtyard. Мы же в нашем фильме с одной стороны про красивое кино, а с другой стороны про практическое приложение. И вот то, что мы видим здесь в дворе Volkshaus, это как раз про практическое приложение. Вот эти три конструкции, деревянные с ПВХ-шными окнами, это то, что позволяет этому пространству жить и жить не только летом, а жить вплоть до ноября. Потому что вот они расставлены у нас грелки, и с закрытыми окнами это до плюс пяти вполне функциональная штука. Почему это круто? Потому что это наши с вами брейкауты, это место для различных, допустим, интерактивных концепций, это место для разных станций, если мы хотим людей развести по каким-то принципам. The building also houses light, warm conference halls and dinner spaces, as well as a traditional brasserie too. At the turn of the 21st century, famous Brazil-based architect bureau, Herzog and Demuron renovated Volkshaus and added the small boutique hotel. All the hotel's furniture is custom made. The chic, minimalist aesthetic is a huge pool for design connoisseurs. We asked Martin Renzheigen, general manager, to share the purpose of Volkshaus. One of the lead architects uh, had a very nice description of uh, what Volkshaus is for him and at the end for us and for everybody. And it's a piece of city within the city because the piece of city within the city 
you have different kind of buildings, houses, different people who live in this house, different uh, desires here again, but at the end everybody comes together in the staircase or in the bar downstairs or in the meeting room and this piece of city within the city describes it really so well and uh, these uh, apartments or those room within the Volkshaus can be filled with different content. Uh, we have a lot of uh, uh, big scale events uh, uh, and uh, some of them even take over the entire complex uh, for many days and, uh, and that's uh, super interesting because uh, they transform it into their world, their needs. I was charmed by Volkshaus, but I needed a break from all this stylishness. It was time for an aperitif. For my aperitif, we headed to another new hotel, the Marthof. Soon after opening, it became the city's hottest hotel. In its Bohemia restaurant, guests mingle with locals, sharing local news. Martov's top floor houses an events hall that leads to a roof terrace. It is an ideal place for private meetings and gatherings. Why not celebrate a successful deal here? The hotel will host your grill or cocktail party here and throw in its wonderful sunset view too. I would have loved to have stayed longer. But our itinerary demanded we move on again. Today we are dining at Gasthof zum Goldenen Sternen. In German, this means a tavern near a golden star. It was built in the 15th century, making it the oldest tavern in Basel. It was in the Eichenvorstadt area for many years, but in the 1970s it was taken down and rebuilt on the banks of the Rhine. During Basel's Carnival, an enormous table is laid for 200 guests. It is impossible to talk about Basel without mentioning the Carnival. This is a major Swiss event held in February or March and is listed as a UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage. The three days of revelry is more than merely a homage to old traditions. It brings together all the city's inhabitants and the Gasthof is a traditional gathering place for celebrating the Basel Carnival. Restaurant manager Kuzhtim Zanunash holds the official title of the keeper of this venue's traditions. We we'll try to be a fish restaurant. Fish restaurant because the river here on the front. We have like a yeah. fish speciality. We have like a fish harmony. It's a different kind of fish grill. It's not clear from the river, from the reef. It's from ocean or sweet water fish. You get like a lobster's uh, tile. Grill, you get uh, sea bass, fillet, you get a uh, perch, you get a uh, trout with uh, sauce, spinach, and potatoes. On Kush team's advice, we ordered the seafood harmony for dinner. The look of our dish was spectacular an array of seafood topped with a huge lobster tail. This is Land Basel substantial, respectable, and rich in traditions. Tomorrow, Water Basel awaits us. Lively, cheerful, and at times, even pirate-like. The Rhine has always been the main artery of the region, and the river still feeds old trades supported by local enthusiasts. Weidelin is rafting in a special flatboat which is up to 10 meters long and is traditionally made of solid wood. In deep waters, one or two paddles are used when vitaling. In shallow water, a special device with a strange name, Stachel, is used to propel the boat instead. Our guides from the vitaling world met each other many years ago in Venice while studying boat transportation. Upon returning to Basel, they established the Vitaling Fan Club. We are interviewing one of them today. Please meet Urs Arlt, a carpenter and boat designer. We do uh, city tours, and that takes like one and a half hours. I make the whole length of the Rhine with the people and tell them a little bit of the city of the town. And then we do upper road tours, people, we serve them wine and beer, maybe at sunset. My favorite is the full moon tours. That's, of course, you need the right weather, but that's really nice and romantic. 
Then we do also like team building events with companies. They, we show them how to, to row and, and even people which are not so strong can easily bring the boat up. I'm a man without training. In fact, handling a boat with paddles proved to be far more difficult than it looks. After a few minutes, however, you start to pick up the rhythm and feel the vessel's moves in tune with your strokes. After just 10 minutes of rowing, you start to feel proud of the sheer physical weight you are propelling. After such physical exercise, we called it a day and decided to learn more about the city from the riverbank at the Museum Tingwili. Basel is regarded as Switzerland's cultural capital, famous for the number of its museums. Sculptor Jean Tingwili lived in Basel in the 20th century, where he made remarkable, groundbreaking kinetic sculptures. Tingwili was ahead of his time by being passionate about sustainability and drawing awareness to the unnecessary and worrying overproduction of things. То, что вы видите на стене, это не отдельная а, часть экспозиции, это все отдельные части большого элемента, который находится здесь. Он называется балет де пол или балет бедных. И обычно эта платформа висит под потолком в перевер перевернутом виде, и, и к ней крепятся вот эти элементы. Сейчас они все находятся на реставрации. Вот у той дамы за стеклом, и совместно это все называется балет бедных. Как-то так. The museum building is really an artwork itself. The famous Swiss architect Mario Botta created an unusual setting for Tingwili's moving artworks. The central hall is large enough to contain 20 of his sculptural machines. André Pardet, vice director at Museum Tingwili, told us the museum is celebrating its 25th anniversary. At the Museum Tingwili, we, uh, we don't like to, to do it the simple way. We like complicated things, such as doing a boat, bringing a boat to Paris through, through all the canals, uh, passing a bit of boats through the tunnel um, from Seine to, to, to La Villette. Very complicated, but people loved, loved the story, loved the, 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 the fact that we just came there, brought them culture after this long lockdown times. We, we just did a crazy thing and then that's, that's what's happening. And then that's, these are the things we like to do. Tangley once said, my, my most important public are the children. If they like the show, the show is good. Our most important visitors for us are event organizers. The museum's giant modular lobby is a wonderful setting for cocktail parties, for instance. Tingwili's biggest work in this hall reminded me of a giant pinball machine, suitable for team building exercises. The space is perfect for day events, as well as full dinners. Down below is Chez Genoa Bistro, with floor to ceiling windows overlooking the Rhine and seating for up to 80 people. Taking inspiration from Tingwili, we decided to create our own kinetic sculpture. Swiss Welding Technology Association is conveniently placed on the opposite side of the Rhine. Anya Koenig, head of training division, met us at the entrance. Welding means put things together. And that's the way how we can put teams together. No problem, you can come here and make team workshop, team events in welding. If you want to come to our company to make a team welding, a welding workshop we call it, then we can have groups, smaller groups, how about uh, five persons per group, but it could also be a very big group. Then we divided this big group into small groups for the working, for the event. That means a maximum five or six persons work together in our welding workshop. That means you can create your own piece, your own sculpture. Everybody can come to this workshop. Мы сейчас подбираем материалы для нашей будущей скульптуры. Мы в магазине мягких игрушек, не знаю, мы в магазине, в конфетном магазине такой очень. Все такое вкусное, не знаю, с чего начать. Я думаю, рессоры. It was obviously none of us was a welder in the past. Led by a cheerful coach, we did an occupational safety course before learning the basics of argon welding.
А очень круто, а еще очень классно работает шлем, у него автоматическое затемнение, еще и с менюшкой. В общем, хай-тек. Together we made a sculpture calling it Libellula, which means dragonfly in Italian. We were about to offer Libellula for including in the next show at the Tingoli Museum on the opposite bank. But Stefan and Ramona of the Basel Convention Bureau objected, and our masterpiece found a new home in their office. After creating our kinetic art, we found ourselves on the bank of the Rhine again. Stefan suggested a comfortable type of transportation and a new view of the city. Welcome to the taxi boat. Waterways crossing countries and cultures drove Basel's trade history. Hans merchants took commodities from Northern Europe, reloaded them onto smaller boats in the city before heading to markets in the south. Today we cross the main bridges and reach Basel port where the borders of three countries meet. There is food and drink on the taxi boat, making the trip along the Rhine so relaxing. Yeah, Cheers. thanks for coming. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thanks. Manfred Hoffmanner, formerly a taxi driver, thought of combining gastronomy and trips along the Rhine in 2000. Together with a business partner, they refitted Swiss army boats and offered guests river trips with snacks, champagne, and even full dinners. We talked about the history of these boats and the charms of life on the river with Peter and Manfred for more than an hour. The maximum we can take is 12 person. When we have uh, meals uh, like uh, the Charbonnat, which is a tish grill, yeah. Uh, we have eight maximum because okay. it's too narrow yeah, otherwise. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have a heating here. Oh, okay. When we close everything, we can get about uh, 20 degrees. Okay. When it's outside, it's freezing. Uh, driving fast, having water ski all the time. Having water ski behind you? We, yes. we did with that boat. With that? Yes, yeah, that's enough. It, Seriously? It yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Wow, yeah. that's pretty cool. Yeah. 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 And oh, we yeah. have the bananas and uh, the donuts. donuts. Seriously? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Towing yeah. with the boat. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, we, 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 do, we do also with uh, some event agencies. They make uh, computer games on the Rhine. There are different groups on each boat. They have to, uh, they, they get some questions and the first uh, correct answer, this boat can move five or 10 meters forward. Okay. And uh, the next one, the second one, he can stay on, on okay. the place. And the one who is last one, he has to go backwards. Oh, so okay. then you have about 20 or 30 questions. Okay. And normally we start from, from this bridge to the, to the upper bridge. Okay. Barely noticing it, we reached what's called the symbolic triangle, the place where Switzerland, Germany, and France meet. Upon our return, our crew revved up to full throttle of 20 knots, speeding us to our dinner venue, Le Rin Bleu Restaurant. The restaurant is literally just above the river, attracting visitors to its early 20th century geometric interiors. The restaurant is entirely outdoors, but September of Basel is still warm, making open-air dining comfortable. It was hard to say which Basel sunset I preferred. Restaurant general manager Alex Caden met us at the entrance. Well, we are literally on top of the Rhine. This is probably the only place uh, in Basel where you can swim, eat, dine, party and, and, and have events. Um, and it, it's, it goes back um, quite a couple of years. Okay. This was the old um, public bath for, for Basel. And then it almost got destroyed. And then there was a group that really said, we need to save this place. And um, time proved this was absolutely the right decision. Uh, the cuisine here is, is Mediterranean. We really want uh, you to feel a bit uh, like you're on holiday. I think what makes us very unique is, is the, that we're literally on top of the water. And uh, we, have a, we have a view that is uh, breathtaking. So this is water basil, relaxed, Mediterranean in feel while also lively.
In Basel, you sense the pulse of a big city as you move from the historic medieval buildings into the 21st century at hotels like the Movent Peak, all the while being able to plunge into timeless waters of the Rhine. You need state-of-the-art meeting, you need Basel. You need design thinking, you need Basel. You need a golden star, you need Basel. You need Weidling tradition, you need Basel. You need moving art, you need Basel. You need team spirit, you need Basel. You need fondue on the Rhine, you need Basel. You need the sunset on the river, you need Basel.